Lesson 116, finding best fit models. Um, you guys have had found best line, best line of fit, or I can't remember what you call it. Yes, line of best fit. This is for any kind of best fit. So we can have a quadratic best fit. So uh, it's called a quadratic regression. Quadratic, okay. So, you know, in your um, calculator, we've done a linear, linear regression model. We can do a quadratic regression model. So basically, this is the best fit model that would be uh, parabolic. In other words, a parabola shape. Here's an example. Um, if you type these numbers into your calculator, um, so if this is your, if these are your points, 4, 12, 27, 48, 75, 107, um, and if you were to graph them, it would kind of go up quickly and it would look like a parabola. You can get the, instead of linear regression, you would just type on the one that says quadratic regression and you would get approximately, um, 3x squared minus 0.2857x plus 1. And I don't know if you remember in the linear regression, it gives you like the a, x plus b, and they give you the a and the b. For quadratic regression, it gives you ax squared plus bx plus c. In this case, it would say a is 3 and b is this negative number and c is 1. And then you just plug it in. Um, the model differences, so here's the different models we can do in y values. So there's a little table here we're going to do um, a linear model. The, um, I don't know what, you want, what this means. Constant first differences, okay. And then if you're doing a quadratic model, you're going to have a constant second differences. Oops. Um, then a cubic model has a constant third differences and a quartic has a constant fourth. So this just means you look at the difference in the y values, and then you look at the difference of the differences, and then the difference of the differences, and so on. So you just take your y values, like this one. We did um, 12 minus 4 is 8. 27 minus 12 is like 25. No, I can't remember what that is. That's 27 minus 12, 15. And then you would do 15 minus eight and that would be seven. So that's the difference of the second differences. Um, it wouldn't be exactly because this is a scatter plot, but if you had the actual qu quadratic, um, if you had the actual quadratic uh, uh, shape equation and you got points off of it, if you subtracted the y's, and then you take the difference of the differences, you'd have a constant there. I know I'm not doing a very good job of this. So I want you to look at example two in your book. This is going to help you understand what this means by differences. Example two, they have this cubic function, but you don't know it's cubic yet. So if you, in example two, if you take the difference of the y's, so 6 minus 2 is 2, 10 minus 6 is 4. Here's the first difference. You just took the difference of all the y's. The second difference is you're taking the difference of the differences. 4 mm. minus 2 is 2, 7 minus 4 is 3. Then the third difference is like that. That's what it's called by taking the differences. And I'll have a constant third difference. Now because this is a scatter plot, it's not going to be 
like really constant, but it's going to be super close the whole time. So if you kept going, you probably would get one or two. So, Justin? Um, can you get down to like spin kicks? Yeah, yeah, it's just going to keep going like that. Do you just like keep going until you find like the one number? Yeah. Or close to one number, like that one was ones and twos, you know, similar. The, if there's no constant difference, so if you keep going and you just can't get a constant difference, you want to look to see if it is a um, exponential model. Because you can model ex exponentially also. And also look for to see if it's a logarithmic function. So here's one the example. Um, let's see. This was where did I get this one? Come on. Oh, I got this. Oh, here it is. So this is a data table. We have the month and the balance must be like in the account. So month one, the balance is $10. Month two, the balance was $21. Month three, 42. Four was 84. Five, had 170 and month six had 340. It's just doubling. So this is times two, times two, notice. Uh, that means it's exponential. So our model would be y is approximately 5.05 .05 times two. It's not. <laughs> It's basically it's it's so close. basically close. It's like times one point nine. It's basically right. It's right. Like it's because it this is. is like this if is more like a. Like you have to remember it's kind of it's more like a scatter plot. So the actual one is two point oh two. Um, if you wanted to do that model, so if you plugged it into your calculator and got the um, exponential model, this is what it would look like with those numbers. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to do some practice just so you can.